Hi, I'm Kim Blank, and today I'm going to do a DIY palette decal wall arrangement, and this is really fun. I'm excited about it. And today we're using the dandelion decal from kidswalldecalsource.com. And so I'm going to tell you what the materials we're going to do, and this is going to be really fun. We've got eight one by four boards, and I've got, of course, my decal. I've got some gloves to protect my hands. I got my saw a drill and some one and a half inch screws, my acrylic paint, my paintbrush, acrylic paintbrush, my tape measure to cut this one, my wood Gorilla Glue and some scissors to help me cut the decal. So we're gonna use a black dandelion decal from kidswalldecalsource.com. And so let's get started. I wood glued my pieces of wood together at varying lengths to get a little bit of variation in my project. And I'm going to now prep my bracket. And my pieces of wood are 42 inches long. So I'm gonna do 21 inches for my wood. And so I'm gonna mark it at 21 inches. And then I'm gonna cut this piece in half. And then I'll be able to use it So I've got this handy saw that I'm going to use. I can just set my board in it. Perfect. There we go. And we have it. We have our two pieces that we're going to use to put it together and brace it. So then I will get my screws ready. So here I've got my screws. And I'm going to um, do two screws here, two in the center, and two on that end. There we have it. We have our brackets screwed to our seven boards and there is our arrangement. We'll flip it over and paint it. I have flipped my palette board over and I've kind of cleared my space. I'm gonna bring these away and I'm gonna bring my blue paints over and my paint brush. I'm gonna go get that. So I have got my red solo cup, my paintbrush, and my paints, and we're gonna come out with a nice early morning blue paint color. So I'm gonna squirt some paint in, a little bit of each one. I might do a little bit more of the first one, really get the color good. I'm excited for how this is gonna turn out. And if you'd like to, you could paint the front edge of your board or you could leave it raw, raw wood. We're just gonna totally paint this until it's totally covered. And I'm just gonna do one coat on the entire thing and then we're gonna let that dry. You'll let it dry overnight or however long works for you and then the next step we'll be doing is putting our wall decal on. Okay, so we are back again and we have our paint dry a couple hours later. This is awesome. It's our early morning blue. It's so pretty on our palette boards. And so now we're going to put the D the dandelion decal on that I got from Kids Wall Source Decal, or it, it's kidswalldecalsource.com. I'm really excited about this and it's a great product. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel the bottom layer back halfway on my decal. So I'm gonna take it halfway like that. And these are really many little things. You have to be careful with them. 
and I'm going to press it down on the edge. So I've got it about on the edge and if I go a little bit over that's fine because then I can just cut it off with scissors or however and I'm going to press it down and just press and slowly peel the bottom. Oh, I'm peeling this bottom piece back and I'm pressing with my hands for now. So I'm pressing it as I slowly peel it all the way up. So there, I've peeled my entire piece, my entire back piece off. Just set that down. And then I'm gonna take my squeegee and I'm gonna press it like really, really good. All the little pieces, because there's a lot of little fronds everywhere. So I'm gonna press it onto my palette board really good. Okay, so I've done one pressing on all that really good. And now I'm gonna take my other pieces. I've cut them into, you know, so they're kind of like the fronds, the dandelion fronds are drifting away with the wind. So I'm gonna take it and peel it back. Now these are easier because they're smaller. So I'm gonna peel the whole back off. And then I am just gonna do them, now that I think about it, I might do this one first and just kind of go like that and then these little pieces will be floating off in the wind. And then I'm gonna press these ones too, really, really good. So that they're down really good. Then we'll do this one. See, it's pretty easy. You just peel the backing off. And then you just put it down. And you just get your squeegee. And just press it down really, really well. So now I'm gonna go back to this original one and I'm gonna press it one more time and then I'm gonna slowly and very carefully peel it. Okay, so now I've got my initial peeled back. This is so fun. Now you get to see how the final product turns out. La la, wow, it looks awesome. It's very good. So I'm gonna come and I'm actually gonna press all this with my fingers and my squeegee thing and I'm gonna press it all just so I know it's down really good and then we'll go and peel the rest of them. And I'm so excited, this looks awesome. It looks really good. It's, this is fun, you can just do this in an afternoon. Get your dandelion decal and paint your boards up, screw them together and you will come out with a fun, I mean, this is a pretty big wall hanging, you know, if you go and hang it on your wall. I mean, it'll cover a pretty good space and you just did this yourself at home and people would pay a lot of money for this. It's awesome looking. So I'm just taking my time as these are little, you know, dandelion fronds, just carefully pushing them and then carefully peeling it back. And it seems like the closer you peel back, to your piece, the better it turns out. And then I'm just coming back and pushing them down. And there we have it. So I'm gonna just go over and I'm just gonna press it all everywhere and then I'm going to actually just get my scissors and trim the edge of that really good and then we'll be good to go. Well thanks so much for watching. I really enjoyed doing this DIY wall palette decal and I'm really excited about it ready to hang it up and we did this awesome early morning blue color and I got a lot of these materials just from the home improvement store. 
And then I got the dandelion black decal from kidswalldecalstores.com. And if you have any comments or questions, just comment in the section below. And subscribe to this video. We're going to have more DIY videos coming up. And the dandelion decal was from kidswalldecalstores.com. And thanks so much for watching. I really enjoyed this project. It was really fun. And we hope to see you again.